Today I'm going to do a review for you of 2312 by Kim Stanley Robinson. This is a science fiction book that I, in some ways I really loved it. I really enjoyed reading it and um, if there were more of them in this kind of world I would definitely go out and read them. But I also have some pretty big um, gripes I suppose and there are things about this book that really annoyed me and feel a bit unfinished. Um, I did a written review of it yesterday and I, I spent ages trying to work out what exactly I thought about it because I, I really enjoyed it but I also kind of really hate it. So overall I've given it three stars and I'm going to try and explain my thoughts in a little bit more of an articulate way. Essentially, I think the world building in this book is brilliant. It's beautiful. The world, um, it's set kind of in the future, um, in 2312 is kind of the main I suppose time period but really that's just a nominal time period in terms of um, the, the kind of relationship between current modern earth and that time period it's kind of irrelevant basically it's set into in the future where um, there are a lot more planets that have humans and other races and things living on them um, a lot more places have been kind of colonized there are um, asteroids that have been colonized and there's all sorts of different worlds floating around and people like humans and spaces and um, other different races of creature that live in this universe and it's great I mean the way that some of these terraria um, which are asteroids that have been kind of built to simulate a particular environment like there might be an African plains terraria or an ocean one or a you name it, like an English garden manor house terraria, there, there are kind of, I don't know, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of them. And some of them are just beautiful. And some of the descriptions in the book are incredible. But overall, for a book that's kind of plot driven in a way, in that there's always stuff happening, um, there are a number of different kind of plot lines, not all that much happens, which seems like um, a real... It doesn't seem like it makes sense, but essentially the main character of the book is a woman, or actually a hermaphrodite, um, called Swan. We follow Swan um, as she ends up on a planet that gets hit and basically destroyed. A couple of thousand people are killed and it seems like the main plot line is going to be working out who exactly was responsible for this attack because it seems like a clearly premeditated attack um, and it's, they work out kind of how it happened and how this planet was attacked even though it had a defense shield up that should really be able to detect and deflect um, attacks from outer space um, but in this case didn't so it feels like through the bulk of the book you're kind of waiting for this kind of resolution to work out whether it's like a political thing or a religious thing or whether it was a human um, attack or an AI type attack um, and as I was reading it, it's quite long, it's about 550 pages. As I got to about page 450, 500, I realised I'm actually running out of pages for this thing to get resolved. And I started thinking, my God, is this actually book one of two or three or a series? And nothing that I could find indicated that it was. Um, and as I finished it, it all kind of wound up, kind of, but not with any degree of satisfaction I don't think I found that this kind of main plot line was kind of really hurried along at the end um, and, a, and a really unsatisfactory ending that to me left some quite significant holes that I guess could make room for a sequel um, but I kind of hope that it doesn't because if it did then this book is almost a waste I don't know it feels like for that main plot line, it's about three or four hundred pages too long. Um, and none of the other plot lines seem to really go anywhere. So it spent a lot of time um, following a couple of other characters that were quite minor. And I was expecting them to somehow be involved in the resolution of something. And it just never quite worked. So my feelings are really conflicted. Essentially, I think it's a really great book because the, the development of the universe um, and... The science, I suppose, behind it is brilliant. It's done really well and it's an absolute pleasure to read. But the storyline is a bit wanting and a bit all over the place. Um, I don't know that I'd read it again, but if there was another book, if it did actually end up being book one of two or however 
other many. Um, I would go out and buy the second one just because I kind of feel like I've been ripped off a bit. So all in all, I don't really know what to think. I gave it three stars because I really enjoyed reading it and um, there are some really brilliant moments in it and really inventive things happening. Um, and the way that the, the future is portrayed, I found really interesting and quite unique, I suppose. Um, maybe that's because I haven't read that much sci-fi, but um, I found it really a really interesting and almost believable way a uh, book to read um, in terms of the way it portrayed the future and the universe in a way that had been colonised like this. Um, I would recommend it, but with reservations. So that's, I guess, the best I can do for a review of that. Thank you for watching. The next one I'll do is probably a review of um, this book, Purple High Biscuits, which I am currently about halfway through, which is brilliant and I'm absolutely loving it. But um, I'll probably finish that this week.